My forms that I made have stiffened up a little bit. I'm gonna remove all of the um, forms from my clay. So my um, little yogurt container, slide that out and it's the smallest. It stiffened up quite a bit and I'm gonna pull this plastic out and you can see I've got that nice little gallery inside there. So that's going to need a base. This one is the box, the flower pot has firmed up. I'll pull off those little bits of tape so that, there we go, it will slide out quite nicely. If your form is still a little stiff or a little uh, soft when you do that, you can leave the sleeve in there for a little while to help it set up a little more, but um, I think this is enough. I'm gonna take this off. Get the tape out of there. If a little, a few little pieces of paper stay in there, it's no big deal. They'll just burn off in the kiln. At this point, I can take um, some time if I want and smooth out that inside piece there. Let me move my slab out of the way. So there's that inside seam, something like this um, wooden tool can get in there and work that clay across. Got it down on the table for support. But I will be able to clean that up a little more later too. But that's the, um, at least initially, get that seam smoothed out before I put my base on. So this one I'm gonna close up entirely. I could just leave it there. It's a perfectly fine little pot. You can make it a flower pot, you could clean it up, make it a storage pot, put a hole in it, make it a flower pot. You could put some feet on it, you could put a different kind of lid on it. I'm gonna close it up entirely and um, we'll cut it open later as a, as a box going this way, I think. So that's going to need a box, a, a base. And then here's the bowl that I did, the square bowl. So I can flip that over, undo all this tape and plastic. And then pop this out. Again, if it needs to set up a little bit longer, I could leave the plastic in. Just helps it hold its shape a little, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna peel that off. And again, there's that inside seam that I can clean up a little bit now. Notice I'm supporting it on the other side. And I'll clean it up more later when I finish, finish it. But I like to get just at least that initial seam line out of there. Hmm, stiffened up quite a bit. Might take this time right now to, you know, my rim is quite uneven. I've got a little high spot there I'll need to trim off. But I'll let it stiffen up a little bit more before I do that. I think I could give it a try right now. Problem with trimming is if you cut a little too low and then you cut a little too low on the next side and you keep evening it out until there's nothing left. So remember, it's okay if it's a little irregular. It's uh, supposed to look like you made it lovingly with your own two hands. All right, 
So that does not need another piece. That's going to stay open. I might do a little more work on it later. But I'm going to bring my slab here over and it's thin enough for now. Let's see. Oh, and I forgot to show you. So the video I did of this one did not work. I guess I didn't hit the button hard enough. I should check and make sure this one is working. So I made this one the same as this um, with the sleeve all the way around, or the, sorry, the slab all the way around. There's my seam here. Needs still a little more work. And then I put the the coil in so that it was sitting on this bottom edge. Peel the plastic off here. I have another inside seam there. I'll deal with that later. So again, remember, you need to work with a form so that it will slide out. This is wider at the top here, so I needed to be able to pull this out with the narrower end. And then you can see I've got that nice level coil in there because it was sitting on top of the canister. Okay, set these aside. All right, so I want to get lots of pieces out of this slab of clay. I'm avoiding this little crack over here. And this is my next biggest piece. And that one, I think I'll roll the slab a little bit thinner to do that one. just because it's fairly tiny. So I'm gonna take this one slab here. And just make it a little bit thinner Got an air bubble there, I'll avoid that, because this is just such a tiny pot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut out those bases and attach them, and then we'll come back. <laughs> 